Uh, I thought it was a very good trip for our organization. Uh, I thought it was a good team building uh, trip for us as opposed to like a huge end of the year party. I thought it was good for us to all sit down and, and game plan the next year because we had, we had our best year ever in 2019. Um, and, and, and overall, uh, I, I feel we, that mission was accomplished through yours, Michelle's, and, and Nathan, and the rest setup of it mm -hmm. with a lot of team building activities in, uh, in the whole process, as a, not just the goal setting. Right. It helped my organization become tighter uh, as we left with, with more defined goals. There was a few people that were on that team that are no longer with Phoenix because they didn't fit in those new goals, you know? Uh, but but overall, we became stronger from it. I agree. I, I like the, um, the four days. I like that every um, day was on a certain, I think there was like a few topics that, um, and maybe it was like the retail or something that we, it didn't really fit like our, for our company at that time. Um, but other than that, I, it was great meeting your guys' team because we see you guys on like Zoom meetings and stuff. Um, but it's nice to meet people in person and other sales reps. I like mingled with everybody and like see their thoughts and their things. Um, and it was really good for our team. Yeah. Because we've never like all been in a group together like that. The IRE is more, you know, clearly an event where there's boots and you get to just jump from one to one and engage people for five minutes and leave. You don't really learn much except grab a brochure and, and network. That's what I feel the Dallas or the roof shows have been. Uh, Winds of Storm is same thing. It, it's just more speeches where you get stuff out of it, but uh, in this you actually truly work on your business. You, you don't do that at Wind of Storm or IRE. <laughs> you don't sit there and, and, and figure out your dream, mission, purpose, uh, uh, core values. Uh, your your three-year plan, five-year plan, they, these are not things typically companies would go do at the IRE. They would have the owner, a, a top-level sales manager, go and learn more about the industry and network. Uh, same at Wind the Storm. This specifically, you leave with written goals for your organization. And then you can actually have Christmas and not have to stress about what you're going to do in 2021 because <laughs> you already got it written down. So, so what were some of the what were some of the big things that you you know you went to the strategy deal you, you came up with uh, your your big goals mm -hmm. you came up with your annual what were some of those big goals that you guys wanted to accomplish and feel like you did a fair job of doing so? Quite a few. I mean, we got our production person, which was amazing because that's huge help. Um, our production was lacking a little bit, um, so we had Service, somebody. Yeah. We had somebody um, that would come in and be able to make sure the production team is running properly. We had a better understanding of a customer service role um, for like welcome calls and you know welcome emails. Um, I do thank you cards now. Um, before that wasn't in place at all. Mm -hmm. um, our collections, we've defined that down to probably and 60 days less than what it was before now that we have like one person that's taking over collections instead of each sales rep um, yeah uh, it's huge yeah we so like I said in 19 we had our best year and we had so much work we didn't have a service plan in place so we had a lot of complaints and a lot of non-payers and a lot of stress on our business because customers by and large didn't like us <laughs> so we wanted to double down on the revenue growth in this conference and then and, and, and figure out how to do it appropriately where people are satisfied. And I, I would say that she was the biggest key in that. Of course, we had the people in Texas who did just as well and, and, and currently are, where we don't necessarily have complaining clients now. Uh, they pay us too because there's a process to it. Yeah. So we accomplished that. We had revenue goals that were kicked in, you know, or punched in the gut by COVID, where we weren't able to sell for, you know, our, our standard methods, which is door to door and, and be outside the house and be in front of people. Uh, we didn't transition quick enough for that. So our sales essentially started in May of this year, uh, when typically they start in January, February in Texas, and then Illinois starts in March and April. So we missed a good five months of sales. Uh, 
we're still on path to beat last year. So we're still on path to have our best year when sales just started in May. So something happened well. We didn't follow the true plan uh, from the conference because it was more save the ship. The ship is sinking when COVID happened. But whatever we wrote uh, last year is exactly what we're going to do in 2021. So I think everybody should forget what happened in 2020. <laughs> yeah, 2020 kind of things up, <laughs> so. to say the least. I think so. Um, after the um, the four day conference with you, I think Eric had a better understanding of which people belong in a different role. Um, he thought more I was customer service and um, people oriented in like helping out and like in collections and stuff. When before I was like doing just scheduling orders kind of thing um, and helping out around the office with any sales rep that had like needed brochures or something, but. He found that I would be better fit in a different position. Um, and I think that's for Texas too. You kind of move people around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think what I got, got out of it is that I saw the care that my people have, even though I knew they cared. You have your level 10s and you, Jim leaves this office and boom, we go right back to our offices, busy work blinders. And that's pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you tend not to sit back and connect with your employees, except on the weekly level 10, but that's still blinders, work, 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 boom, done, 9.30. Hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half, 11 <laughs> o'clock hits, everybody's gone, poof. Um, so you don't get to connect, and I, I feel like we connected. We identified what our, our, our cores are, or we already identified what those are, but we really solidified them. And unfortunately, that, that meant some people were not gonna be on the ship anymore who were even on the conference. So it was, it was a few steps forward by a few s steps back initially after the conference, because we really truly identified who, we're, who we are and where we're gonna go. And then some of those people kind of knew that they weren't the right people. Totally. Oh yeah. I, I think we're all closer together, even with the other branches. Like we we talk more, um, we ask each other for help more mm -hmm. than we we did before. Because before, like I would go to you for something. Now I can I know if I need to go to Dakota or Ryan or Misty, I can just go straight to them. Um, and I think I mean there's way more communication and help. If like I help in the other mm -hmm. locations with any of their um, accounts receivable or anything, just even just data entry, um, just to make everything more clear. Mm -hmm. I, th I think both, because like I struggled to clarify with them where we're going, because maybe I was struggling on where that is too. Um, but through your coaching, through this conference, I, I was able to identify it. I, I still, I, I know where we're going now before I was kind of defining it. So when you have a, a home or a family or even a business and you don't truly communicate with the other people, there's unanswered questions in people's head that they maybe might not ask. So they don't, you know, the, 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 they, there could be a, a less satisfaction in their heads about being employed with Phoenix. And I feel that we connected a lot in this conference. We were able to understand each other a little bit more. And regardless if there's some people that are not with us, they're still dynamic people. Just this organization defined exactly, you know, where we're going. And, 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 and it was mutual understandings that we wish separate for the people that are not there. That, that wasn't the reason why we're better now this year. I would just say that we've defined who we are and people understand who we are. And it made people give more purpose to show up to work, I feel. And that's from my high level. Maybe I'm ignorant and don't see, and there's some side talk, but I feel that people generally enjoy showing up to work now, and before they didn't. Before because it was like a I nine didn't. to five. <laughs> it was like a nine to five. You clock in, you clock out. Now it's like, like he has to kick people out of the office. You know, like, hey, you've go been home. here long enough, go yeah, home. Get home. Um, <laughs> but it, it's just believing in like the company that you work for, whether it's your, the owner, your boss, um, or even coworkers, like it makes a huge difference because where I worked before, I was literally a punch in and punch out. And here I'm like, nope, gotta finish, got stuff to do, you know? And I'm okay with any hours or anything. I'm okay with helping out other departments or like, it's just a better understanding that everybody helps everybody.